Craig here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom contact form for your WordPress website. Now what we have here is a test website I just put together and I've created a blank contact us page. So as you can see we just have the default widgets on the side and the title and a place to leave a comment. Now to follow along and use this method you will have to install two plugins, one called contact form 7 and the other one really simple capture. Now the capture plugin you'll need this if you want to display a capture image. If you don't install this believe it or not sooner or later you're going to start receiving a lot of spam. So I've installed them both and they're both active and once activated you will notice that a contact button appears in the menu so I'm going to click on it once and right off the bat we get a custom contact form automatically created and here is a short code. So if I copy this, I can copy the short code because they don't want you to struggle. So they give you a basic form as soon as you activate the plugin. Now coming to my contact us page, I'm going to paste in my short code and I'm in visual mode. I'm going to hit update. Sorry, let me hit update again. And we're going to refresh the page. And you can see it gives us a basic contact form with your name, email, subject, message, and a send button. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to customize the form. So coming back to the contact options, we're going to hover our mouse here and then click edit. So this short code is always going to control this contact form. So if we edit any of the form, you don't have to go edit the short code here because this is always going to stay the same. So what I want to do is, you know, perhaps I want to collect people's phone number. Now I'm just going to show you the way I do it. You may find a different way that you prefer doing this, but what I like to do is I'll just copy some of the code from the form. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to drop down a couple of lines and press Control V and paste it in. And then so we'll just replace this with your phone and we'll make sure it's required and then we'll delete the email field option now we, over here on the right we have to generate a tag and we are going to generate a text field we have all different options here but we want to create a text field so they can enter in their phone number now yes I want to make sure this is required so I'm going to enter in phone and we're going to leave all this as is yes and so now you'll notice that the code changes so this here we have to copy this and paste it into the form on the left so I'm going to copy it and then we are going to paste it here control V and paste and then down here we have some additional code and it says we have to paste this in the mail fields below because when somebody fills out the contact form it gets sent to us so this is a copy of the email which is going to be sent to us and obviously when it says your name, your email, that's replaced with what they enter into the form. So I have to decide where I want the phone number to be displayed. So I'm just going to enter in phone and then control V and paste in the code. And then we're going to scroll up and hit save. And we'll refresh the page. Now you see, so now they have to also enter in their phone number. So now we want to move on to the capture image. Now to do this, it's a little bit more tricky, but we're basically going to do the same thing again. We're going to copy, come down two lines. And we are going to enter in something like, enter this capture code below. And we're just going to delete this. And now we have to go generate the tag for the capture code. So again, we're going to select capture. And the name, we're going to leave it as is. Now we have some additional options here. Now we can change the foreground color, the background color. We can change the image size. So all right, let's go with medium. Now, by default, the background color is going to be white. So if I have a capture image being displayed here and the background color is white, it doesn't really stand out and it's not super clear that it's a capture image that's being displayed. 
So what I recommend you do is before you know adding this over, you pick a background color. Now if you don't know HTML background color codes, etc., what I recommend you do is head over to Google and enter in color codes or HTML color codes, whatever you want, and then go onto one of the web results and find a color code. So we'll go with like a yellowish color and we're going to copy it, come back to the contact form and the background color we're going to paste it in so that it's yellowish. So these other options are all fine and so you can see that this has been updated now. Make sure it tells you the, that it gets updated. Normally if you click down here it will update the code. So we are going to copy it and we are going to paste it in right here. So it's going to say enter this capture code below and then it will display the capture code. Now the input field we have to paste that in too. I'm going to copy it and paste that in and we are going to hit save. Now once you get familiar with the plugin you can see how it works basically. If I want to change the color I can see that my color code is right there and the size you know SML for small, medium, large etc. So let's go and take a look at how this looks. So I'll refresh my page. Now we have uh, a contact form and we have the capture code. Now jumping back to the contact form, I'm going to scroll down and you can see if you want it to go to a different email address, by default it goes to the, the main email address of the website. You can also have it sent to additional email addresses. Uh, and there's several other options which you can go over in your own time. So let's just make sure that this contact form works. So we're going to enter in our name, uh, email, and we'll enter in the phone number. And then we come down to the capture and we're going to enter HQ7Y. And we're, go and we're going to hit the send button. And there we are. It gives us a confirmation message. Your message was sent successfully. Thanks. So I'm going to go check my email. So as you can see, their name, their email, their subject line, their phone number, and their message from their body. And then if I want to hit reply, obviously it's going to be reply to their email address. So that's how we do it. Now there are several other methods that you can use for creating a custom contact form. Uh, it's just a matter of going with whichever one you feel comfortable with using. Uh, another plugin that I have on almost all my websites is called Jetpack by WordPress.com. Now this plugin has several features all built into one. And one of the features is a contact form. Now whenever you're creating a post or a page, basically you can click a button and start creating a form within the post or page. So that is another option. I uh, hope that helps. Have a great day.